unfold the cover tire and straighten and extend it. Then align the tire tread and the wheel set brake in the same direction. Insert the tire bead on one side of the cover tire into the tire groove of the wheel set. Unfold the inner tube. Insert the valve of the inner tube into the tire valve hole. Insert the inner tube into the cover tire. Insert the tire bead on the other side of the cover tire into the wheel set. Do not squeeze the inner tube at the valve. Lift it up. Finally, use a tire spoon to pry the cover tire on this side into the wheel set in turn. In this step, ensure that the tire beads of the cover tire on both sides are stuck in the deepest groove in the tire groove of the wheel set at the end of prying. Install and tighten the valve and screws of the inner tube. Do not tighten the screws too tightly. Open the valve. Connect the air pump to inflate until the appropriate tire pressure is reached. The recommended tire pressure of clincher tires shall not exceed 120 PSI. In order to ensure comfort, the tire pressure shall be about 100 PSI. After inflation, rotate the wheel set and check whether the safety line of the cover tire is installed in place. Apply grease evenly to the cassette body of the wheel set. Find the side with a larger groove opening on the cassette body. Align it with the side with a larger protrusion of the flywheel. Put the flywheels in order from large to small. After all the flywheels are put in, tighten them with tools. If there is a torque wrench, make it to the nominal torque on the flywheel cover. Unscrew the quick release skewer. Insert the wheel set and tighten the nut at the other end. Note that for the springs used for the quick release skewer, the small end faces inward. Open the rear derailleur, put the wheel set into the frame and clamp it in the corresponding position. Adjust the quick release nut and tighten the quick release lock. Install the front wheel in the same way. Note that the braking rim of the front wheel shall face forward. Do not install it in the opposite direction. Check whether all parts of the wheel set are complete and whether the wheel set rotates smoothly. Find the valve hole of the wheel set and poke a valve hole on the tire cushion. Insert the valve of the inner tube into the valve hole. Extend the cover tire. Check the tread direction of the cover tire to ensure that it is consistent with the wheel direction. Install the tire bead on one side of the cover tire into the tire groove. Install the valve of the inner tube into the cover tire. Install the tire bead on the other side into the tire groove. Ensure that the inner tube is completely inserted into the cover tire without squeezing. Pry the last section of tire bead into the tire groove with a tire spoon. Do not use a metal tire spoon to prevent damage to the rim. Check whether the inner tube is squeezed between the tire bead and the tire groove. Turn the screw of the valve, but do not tighten it. Connect the inflator to the valve and inflate. Adjust the tire pressure according to the weight. Note that the maximum tire pressure of clincher tires is 120 PSI and that of tubeless tires is 110 PSI. Rotate the wheel set to check whether the safety line of the cover tire is exposed completely and whether the tire body is even without vibration. After confirmation, tighten the screw of the valve, valve core, and valve cap. Put the disc into the disc brake base of the wheel set. Pay attention to distinguishing the front and back sides of the disc. Screw the lock ring into the thread of the disc brake base and lock it with a locking tool. Put the flywheel into the cassette body. Align the flywheel with the groove of the cassette body. Note that the flywheels shall be put in order from large to small. Put in the flywheel lock ring and lock it with a locking tool. 
Put the wheel set into the frame. Align the disc with the frame. Insert the barrel shaft into the frame and wheel set, and tighten it.